Hello and welcome to the Milton Keynes Model Rail Society and today we're doing just a little private running session. We've got pretty much bits and bobs of everything running around from the modern day to uh, the, the past, i.e. that's running around, which looks spectacular. Then you have a merchant navy doing the rounds, albeit rather slowly. Sound fitted, as you can all probably ascertain, with a great rake of uh, BR Western Mark 1s. I think it's safe to say the APT might be stealing the show here. It goes without saying that uh, 68s will make an appearance. Calling a fantastic nuclear fast train. Bring your attention up to the station where we'll find a uh, uh, Her Majesty there, you know, uh, getting ready to open up a footbridge. Admittedly, she's been there for a, a fair few days now. The scissors were quite blunt, but, you know, she's, she's making good progress. As I say, you're going to be seeing models from all walks of life and from different manufacturers. There'll be Hornby, Backman, uh, you're going to have um, Dapol running around. So there'll be, there'll be bits for everybody. There'll be passenger trains, freight trains. We'll have all sorts and we're going to be committing quite a few sins where we'll have certain locomotives running with certain rolling stock that just would never happen. And the, uh, the river counters will be going absolutely potty with some of the things that we're going to be running around. But a little bit of info about the layout. The bottom section is uh, DC, so you can pretty much run anything you want downstairs and it will just do its own thing without any issue at all. And then the top, as you can probably hear from this, is DCC. So you can function with sound, different various lights, and just models your heart's content. For this particular layout, it's not themed on anything in particular, so it literally is a case of uh, we will run anything and everything. So just enjoy all the calamity that's about to unfold. Right, but it wouldn't be one of my videos if I weren't to go down the usual methods and call out the numbers for uh, what's running around. So this is Merchant Navy Bibby Line 35020 that's uh, doing the honours for the first uh, couple of loops uh, of this, this layout. I will be having diesels hauling this rake, uh, there'll be steam engines hauling this. Uh, there's there's going to be bits and bobs of, of all sorts running around. Then down here we've got 68003 leading the nuclear flasks with 68005 tailing the rear. And obviously the APT is the experimental one, so it's the APTE. Now I'll bring your attention back around here for like another couple of shots of the 37, it's 37800. Seems to be the uh, quite the regular rail operation scoop 37 that does the rounds uh, around the, the network. This one's hauling a bunch of ex LNER Mark 3s off to Newport for a bit of scrapping, so I know there'll be people really happy about that one. So we've got some sidings up in here, we've got some rolling stock that will be uh, heading out at some point. We've got a Black 5, a 25, a 20, and then you've got a King Class sat there, King Henry the 3rd. That'll be doing the rounds at some stage or another. You can see we've got the field yard uh, back there, we've got some train sets already lined up. But there'll be more making appearances as the video progresses.
Okay, we've had a switch around with two of the trains. The 37 is still on the way to Newport. It's a long way to go for a, a model engine. But we have, uh, we've got here, we've got Princess Elizabeth running around, complete with a glowing firebox, with a beautiful rake of Hornby maroon carriages. And then at the top end, I've switched things around to have Evening Star putting some Crimson Cream Mark 1s. This does have sound, but it is incredibly quiet. As there goes the 37. Right, we have a new train running down below. It's worked by my weathered class 37 in the form of 37431 Bulla Dye. It's petroleum uh, stickers on there, conveniently hauling the oil train. And give you just a different view of the layout as ignore what you can see in the background of the oil train derailing and doing its own thing you might want to look behind you <laughs> yeah we'll ignore that technical uh, error there as the cows look on in wonderment we've got some family standing on the bridge or in their case uh, leaning on it Yeah, look at the high street. Okay, we've had another change upstairs. We've now got a multitude of 37s running around. We have 37401 Mary Queen of Scots on the little trail train. And 37142 on the engineers. with the DBSO and we still have 37431 doing the rounds on the oil train and then just to correct myself on something I said earlier this is actually Princess Margaret Rose for those of you who want to uh, ridicule me in the comments not looking at the two people that are in the club along with me who happened to point out my deliberate error I might add just to see if they're on the ball. Oil train should be passing through any minute. There she is.
Right, well, whilst the Bankman 37s do their own thing, here they are. Something you don't see every day on a turntable by a steam engine shed is <laughs> a, class, a class 91 on a turntable. But here we have 91110, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, on said turntable. There you go. Now, now you can say that you, you've officially seen it. It's happened. It is now real. It's now in the history books. You know, it cannot no longer be unwritten. So, there you go. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. Okay, with the next two changes. Uh, it's the engineer's train once more, but with a weathered Backman Class 20 at the helm. And down below is a weathered Hornby Black 5 hauling a rake of BR Maroon Lima Mark 1s. 45393 is the Black 5. <laughs> and 2141 is the 20 doing the honours. There goes 37401, still working the network rail train. Right, well as the Black 5 and the 20 go about doing their business, we have hauling the Crimson Green Mark 1s, a BR Green weathered Class 25, and for the 25043, sound fitted as well, but the 20 does sound miles better. I'll probably have it so the 20 stops in the uh, platforms so you can actually listen to that thing idling because I can assure you it's a very, very good sound. Blackfire's making a bit of a racket. And so we also have something new running downstairs and very small. National Coal Board train. I'm told it's an Andrew Barkley locomotive. Great little engine and great little rake of uh, wagons to boot. Number 10 from the Irish Airshire area. 
cracking little engine. Right, I've stopped the 20. As you can hear, it's, uh, it's got an impressive sound file to it, and it just sounds absolutely superb. Then I'll move up to where the 25 is lingering. <laughs> With the black 5 disturbing the piece. Then we have a BR Prairie on the move in the form of triple five two. Oh, it's just uh, it's just stopped. So cue a, a magic tap up the rear. Oh, hey, and we're off. Oh, there we go. Takes an also coach up onto the branch line. Nope. Oh. <laughs> technical, technical difficulties here. Beautiful. Right, and we're going to set the 20 off. Right, I've moved inside the layout to uh, get a better view of the auto train heading back to the main station. Of course, with me holding the tablet here with two hands, I can't uh, give it a helping hand if it does decide to have a moment, which I'm thinking it has. So cue the magic hand. There it is. Nope, oh, and again. Uh, there we go, a bit of movement. Hey! <laughs> nope, hold on. Oh, it's happened again. <laughs> Cue the magician. Professionalism, of course. That is. This is professional. Oh, hello. We need, we, and again, professionalism is needed. There we go. Ah. <laughs> it's fine. We'll ignore the fact that the uh, the rear axle has derailed. <laughs> so it's, it's technically just free <laughs> rolling down the hill. I fear when it gets to the points, we might have a derailment in our hands.
I mean, we, we might get away with it. I mean, you can, you can see the wheel that's come off, so you, you can see the offending item. Wait for it. Oh, we might just get away with this. Hey, hey, it's re-railed itself. We knew what we were doing. We're professionals after all. We don't do things by half measures. Okay, as we're getting some other trains uh, ready to work, I've got my uh, Black 5 out, sound fitted, hauling the BR Western Region Mark 1s. I know somebody somewhere will be spitting feathers at the sight of this contest, but oh well. as the little coal train is still plodding along, doing its business. It is a gorgeous looking rake, that. This is 44875. Right, well, here we have uh, something that you're probably never going to see in your lives. City of Milton Keynes being honoured uh, by the Queen and the Duke with the paparazzi inflow. Crowds gather either side. Apart from that chap there who really isn't the slightest bit bothered. He's just sat on, this, on the bench staring at two empty carriages, as you do. And you've got this poor woman here who hasn't really got the faintest idea as to quite what's taking place, but, you know, her loss. So the, the Black Five is still flying her trade, completely ignoring what's going on around her. The two DRS-68s are back on the uh, nuclear flash train again. I've got a bobbing hairdo over there. Eyes with nose, nodding as well. It's a, it's a miracle, that. So yes, this is City of Milton Keynes. And what, I can't actually see what the number is, because it's hiding behind the stairs. I can't actually see it, but there we go. But uh, there are the carriages. <laughs> The Queen has just told you that one, so there we are. Not fully in the station though, so I mean the, the driver will have to have words. But also downstairs we're going to have a, uh, an M7 running around on a southern push-pull, which looks absolutely divine. It really does look the business. Oh, and City Milton Keynes is now on the go after its naming ceremony. Oh no, we've, it stopped. And it's just sort of creeping forward. Creeping. Creeping. Background noise. <laughs> oh, love it. It's a very gentle getaway. They're worried about the passengers spitting their soup. get a better shot of uh, City of Milton Keynes going over the points here. Very 
very nice indeed. Right, and one thing that uh, I, I failed to uh, to film, as I filmed the uh, the high street at the top with the royal carriage and everything else, we have a little street party taking place. The bunting is up, the people are out, the tables are set, and they're just loving life. Those uh, waiting for the bus will have to wait just that little bit longer. Right, I've been duly informed that there's a disaster approaching. I have no idea what's actually taking place, so I'm going to take a seat and just wait. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, that's... That is quite something. If, if there was ever an advert for carelessness on the railway, that is it. Oil, nuclear, gunpowder wagon, steam engine, nuclear, oil I mean yeah that is just one big moving bomb now just the fact I mean I don't think they've got little dinky engines horning it because that makes a world of difference like that is safety right there safety personified I don't think you're going to see DRS doing that anytime soon but you never know Weirder things have happened. No, oh, I've got a pair. I've just been told I have to get the numbers. Apparently, <laughs> so here we go. I don't, I've no idea. You're going to have to tell me the classes, I have not a clue. And here we have the J72, number 69023, on the front of the train. And Pannier Tank, national, number 7754, with the National Coal Board in the middle, in a nice weather condition, which means it could go bang any minute. Okay, what the? <laughs> We're just adding wagons as we go along now. Jolly good. Who would have thought? How did you even get that on? I didn't even see you do it. Skillful. We have ninjas operating on the layout now. They're able to add wagons as they please and I don't even realise. It's taken a while, but uh, it's, it's all finally happened go, going to pot. Right, we'll continue the theme of the weird and the wonderful. I've got uh, King Henry III running around. It's got two front uh, lights, one rear tail lamp and a working firebox. You might be able to just see it, but it depends how well I can uh, have the camera poised. There you go, you can just about see that. And it's, it was just surplus to requirements. It, it was there and Network Rail needed to get their train out, so they just took it. You know, why, why not? Exactly. Push-pull still doing its thing. And City Milton Keynes is still plying a trade. Running like a dream. And the uh, Pride Wagon has made an appearance upstairs now. It gets about.
Okay, well, having a chance to stretch your legs is a loco that I've just been told about and forgotten already. All I know is it's called Hardwick and it's from the London North Western Railway. Improved precedence, I believe, uh, was the term. It's currently stretching its legs for use on a rail tour uh, later on in the evening. As King Henry continues to strut his stuff, number being uh, 6025, complete with whistle there from a mysterious man hiding somewhere. Oh, we've come to a grinding halt as um, we've, we've had a bit of a calamity. More on this uh, breaking news as we get it. Stay tuned, viewers. Right, well, Hardwick passes underneath me now as the uh, earlier calamity has been resolved. As working the oil train is one of Collis Rail's finest Class 47s in the form of 47727, aptly named Rebecca. This model is courtesy of VI Trains. And it's derailed again. So it will get round to the points where it will then aptly fall apart. As it had done previously, but we'll just gloss over that. At least we know it's going to happen this time, so we can be prepared. As King Henry kind of just isn't phased, and the network rail staff are getting a jolly. It really does actually work quite well with that. We did actually have a little nickname for that train, it's the IKEA train. So, you know, if any members of IKEA wish to sponsor this video, and give me, you know, a yearly supply of their meatballs, I'm all ears. Nope. Oh, and it's uh, derailed quite successfully. Jolly good. Right, well, King Henry is still doing his bits. The engineer's train is up and about once more with another Class 20 at the helm. As Hardwick now gets the honours of holding quite a, a meaty little train. Does look the business though. So we have a Rail Freight 20 at the helm of this. It is 2156. Cracking livery. Okay, well the oil train down below has uh, been sorted back out, so Rebecca can now stretch her legs. Hardwick still working strong. Then we've got quite the interesting little consist uh, making an appearance. So we've got 37401 Mary Karina Scots hauling 37800 hauling uh, 91110 and then coming to an immediate halt. And then giving it a boot full as she pulls away. As then we have the Engineers 37 hauling the BR Western Region Mark 1s. Right, well, I'll leave you with a final shot of the Engineers 37 taking the Western Region Mark 1s 
back into the fiddle yard as we get other things uh, set up, but we're going to wrap it up there. But uh, if you're free on the 16th of July, uh, please do pop down to our exhibition and help support uh, our club. It'll be great to see some, uh, some fresh faces, so if you are from around the area, then please do pop along, come see any one of us, ask any questions that you may have, and we'll try and help you out as best as possible. You can see all the information there. Uh, you can leave any uh, questions you have in the comments down below, and I'll try to get to them uh, as quickly as I can for all of you. So as 37800 then uh, comes back out with the stock bound for the scrapyard again, doing well, uh, we'll leave it there. So thank you all very much for watching, it's greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed this, I'm sure you all have, uh, please do like and subscribe. We're going to do many more of these, it's been far too long since we actually did them, so uh, we'll start doing more of them. They'll start getting more and more wacky, because that's just how we operate. And the smirks are plenty from the two Herberts that have joined me. So, until next time, from me, and these two, <laughs> from the Milton Keys Model Royal Society, we shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.